Hello everyone, and welcome to Dark Side Detective, starring Dr. Detective McQueen. Quick to start, uh, Malice in Wonderland, oh shit, Case Files, I don't know anything about Case Files, first of all, I'm gonna turn down this music a tad, because it's frightfully loud. Of course, the soundtrack, so far, this is the first song and it sounds really good. Give me a minute, I'm busy. Graphic high def, super high def, virtual reality, spooky vision. Your machine can't run this. High def, super high def, virtual reality, spooky vision. Your machine can't run this. Fucking bet me. <laughs> oh, that's my excuse. Is it still set to that? Ooh, everything looks good. Okay, well... I'm not entirely sure exactly how this game works, but I know it's supposed to be like a comedy point and click. So, I guess we'll get into it. We'll get into the, like, the, the first case, I guess, and just see what we're, we're doing. Okay, summary. The chief has sent me to the Jones residence. Dooley is, Dooley is there with further details. Well, I don't know who Jones is, and I don't know who anyone else is, so let's do it. Detective, Mc Detective McQueen closes cases by talking to characters and solving puzzles. Left click to examine items or talk to characters. Left click on inventory items for more information. Drag items into the scene to use. Drag items onto each other to combine. Right click to skip dialogue. Hint, McQueen can sometimes wear, can sometimes wear items. Your progress is auto-saved as you play. Please do not quit the game during the scene transition or your progress may be lost. Malice and Wonder. I like that. I like that. That's clever. That's clever wordplay. Officer Dooley, it seems like my computer can run this. Oh, I almost shot you there, Detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dooley, you watched me drive up. I had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. It's gonna be one of the games. I'm liking this already. <laughs> I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully has just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid Alice went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spook crap, I mean the kind of case you're into, Detective. Great, let's get started. Oh, let's pause. Okay. A trusty squad guy. I like to call it the Popomoto. That does nothing. Go inside then. Officer Dooley, why is there a herbo dripping all over my carpet? I don't know if that's how he talks, but I'm gonna I'm gonna imagine that's how he talks. Uh that's Detective Francis McQueen, Mr. Jones. He's here to investigate. I see. Twins like the finest, eh? So, how can I help you, Detective? Tell me about Alice. I'll help her with you, Detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. <laughs> She's seven. Exactly. Tedious age, so I leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Where were you last night? How come you didn't notice she was missing? I was... Out. I'm gonna fucking drop this. How wonderful shady. Have you got an alibi? Bro, well, where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room that I'm going to have Dooley take you to. Boing, call this number, they'll vouch for me. Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. Classy stuff. Ah, Bell's. Fond memory. I mean, where was he? A bell shop? What? <laughs> I got, I got matches. Oh, these folks must be millionaires. Upstairs, hallway, ashtray. Hope you don't smoke around your kid. Thankfully, detective. I'm rarely around my kid. I fucking hate you, you cuck. <laughs> nice schooner. Ha ha ha, you dummy. That's not a schooner, it's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. Oh, I'm like this game. This reminds me of my own grandfather. 
Your grandfather was a clock? What? No, he had a clock. Shame. Thought he finally found out something interesting about you. What? I'm interesting. Whatever you say, detective. Oh my god. One of those crystals is worth more than I get paid in a year. We could take one. You, uh, you passed the corruption test? Well done, detective. <laughs> Why are you in the closet with me? Hmm, a black light bulb. May as well take it. Now all we need is a disco ball, some white clothes, and fat beats. Then we've got ourselves a good night. A good night we'll be finding this kid. I love this already. This is amazing. Locked. I wonder where I'd find a key. That's the hallway. I need to go out to the living room. So, how can I help you, detective? Mr. Jones, I want access to your study. I'd love to help, detective, but I seem to have misplaced my key. Sorry. Ah, you cuck. I've taken up enough of your time. And I've got nothing further to say, detective. Please kindly leave me be. Dick. What an odd place for a telephone. They must have run out of places to draw, I mean, put it. Fourth wall humor, I like it. A place this fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. I mean, I guess we're going to the attic. Paint thinner. Detective McQueen, the paint thinner. F oh, wait, no. I had the paint thinner fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left in here, in it now. You received paint thinner. A box marks and broken dreams. Jesus. Those look heavy enough to knock somebody out cold. Just a bunch of forgotten memories. Hmm, may not be broken after all. Just a blown bulb. Ow. Bonk. Bonk. I hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. <laughs> What the? What the heck? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna ignore that exists for a moment. Ah! Oh, Miss Jones. Tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. A stupid, know nothing bear. Hello. Can I ask my baby? My baby is gone. Is there anything you have to find her? Um, there's a creep. Have you found her? Have you found my baby? Not yet, but I want to ask. You have to find her. Please find my baby. My baby. Oh. Right. Find her. This could be a drawing of our suspect. Really? I put out a APB on them. No, Dooley. Don't, don't, don't do that. I've never seen a horse with five legs before. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Look at this. I thought she's going to art school. Ass. I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. This is no time for art, detective. Blacklight. This looks useful. Blacklight marker. Ah, nanny. I'm just gonna... I can't check that drawer. A water bit. Very fancy. Looks like something has been kicked under here. No, it doesn't. You received a strange page. Peculiar pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. Peculiar pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. Can I... How do I examine... What's this? Matches. Tell me about Alice. She's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. I don't know why I'm giving all these people these, this accent, but you're gonna have to deal with it. But that's what having a super rich parent will do to you, I guess. How long have you been working for the Joneses? Joneses detective. Even though it ends with an S, you still, you still pluralize it. Is now really the best time? It's always a good time for grammar. 
Anyway, answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. That's not suspicious. A very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have keys for the various rooms? I am a nanny, not a maid. Right, but do you? Yes. May I have the key to the study then? Sure, there's nothing incriminating in there anyway. Fucking <laughs> Christ! This is the most sus nanny ever. <laughs> what can you tell me about the demonic doorway in the attic? Nothing. Not a thing. I, it's nothing to do with me, that's for sure. I was here the whole time. We're done here for now. I'll be back to work and nothing else. Definitely no hiding evidence. Seems to so like to go ruffling around in someone's drawers uninvited. Alice and her mom are quite happy here. Aww. Hard to believe this is the same one when we spoke to this. The stress of this all has hit her hard. Yeah. Stress. Alright, downstairs then. Locked. I wonder if... And hey, presto, we're in. An old oil lantern. Seems to have some oil in it, too. Nice. I'm just gonna rob these people blind. Anything else in here that I need to be aware of? Nope. Apparently, I just needed that. Living room. Upstairs. Attic. Okay, I seem to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. Uh... Alright, well this isn't hard. I like how he just has like an assortment of spooky symbols he has. That should be it. Great. Maybe now is a good time to stop doing, well, anything, really. Should I go ahead and just bait shit? Shit. These are from Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. This kid didn't win out. Father stakes. Yeah, nope, she kind of sucks. I should probably like this thing, you know, just, just in case. You received a lit lantern. Even I'm not foolish enough to go in there with no light. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No offense, detective, but I'm going nowhere near that creepy fist. I'll uh, stand guard out here. Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good. I'm hungry, and the sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Not so fast. Or oh, fuck, what, what, what accent did I give her? Not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? That idiot, I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. Uh, at least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm a legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her, especially if anything should happen to her parents. Hey, for example, they're getting trapped in the dock size version of the bedroom. It's where they'd be. Now, if I just hadn't gotten into my stuff, stupidly trapped herself up here, I figured I'd best to lay low until you had gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. And if cop would give up on a missing kid? Most of the TLPD, my god. Sadly fair. So, that's what it is, huh? An inherent scheme? You have to admit, it's a fairly perfect crime. It is, actually. Like, I couldn't fault you. Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll never keep her mouth shut. Once Dooley wakes up, you and your scheme will be done for. Mm, good point. I just have to get you to drag him here with you. Come on. Have a taste of your own medicine. Yeah! Well, that's that problem solved. Come on, Alice. Let's wake up Dooley and I can tell him my pun. Pretend it's the first time you heard it, okay? Eh, okay, mister. Wow, that was fun. So the kid got into the nanny stuff and accidentally used the trap herself in that creepy attic. The dark side, but that's a 
surprisingly sucking summary of things. Yes. Shame the nanny was certifiable. She was a looker. Duly, she was dabbling in the dark arts. With a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world. Kidnap their kid and steal all their cash. Shit, it was a shame. Jeez. I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from, anyway. This stuff is hard to find these days. A case for another day, I guess. First of all, I have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. Ha ha ha. Wow. That was very quick, but fun. I don't know if I should, like... I'll tell you what. Here's how I'm going to do these. I'm going to do these by case. Because there's like six of these, or more, maybe. So that might be like six episodes of this one, and then I don't know how many other of the other one, depending on how it works. So, I'm going to end this here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!